one clause that people always forget is clause 61. And it's from this that we take the very vivid principle that nobody is above the law. No king, king anointed, God's servant, inherits by divine luck, you could call it, but right. Now, every king in medieval Europe made an oath that he'd be a good king, do lots of justice, look after lots of poor people, all the sort of things that you'd want your new king to do. But in medieval Europe, if the king didn't, answer, didn't provide justice and so on and so forth, I'm afraid they took the view that he had to answer to God in heaven. Well, when the king's dead, it's not much good if you've had no justice or you've not been properly looked after. And what Magna Carta did was to say in Clause 61, if the king does not abide by the charter when he's notified that he's in breach of it, in effect, a council of 25 barons can take over the running of the kingdom. They're not to harm him, they're not to injure him, they're not, of course, to treat him with violence or his family, but they're no longer stuck with their oaths of allegiance and fealty. This, I think, is a fantastically important moment. Suddenly, the king is answerable on earth, not just in heaven. And from this, we derive constant references through the Middle Ages to the king not being above the law.